you saw the title, no it's not clickbait, and yes, I am about to read for 24 hours straight. I don't know why I decided to do this, mostly because I've seen other people do it, and I was like, that seems like something just crazy enough. It could drive you crazy, but like, it's also kind of a challenge, and I'm here for it. I already am pretty nocturnal. I have a tendency to pull all-nighters. I don't think the staying awake for 24 hours will be a challenge for me. Are you serious, my brother? I told my friend that I wanted to do this and she was like, why? Which like, fair enough. I don't really know. Honestly, I just make bad decisions, I think. I've chosen some books that I've been wanting to read for a while and also books that I think will be somewhat easy to read. This is already gonna be somewhat of a challenge. We're not trying to break my brain. I have five books chosen. I'm not gonna read all five. I'm a mood reader. What if I start a book and I don't like it and then I'm stuck reading it for 24 hours? Absolutely not. These are the first two. They're E. Lockhart books, again, again. And then The Disreputable History of Frankie Lando Banks. Why does my thumb look like that? I don't really know what they're about. I just know that I liked We Were Liars, so I bought them. This little Agatha Christie, which is murder mystery. I haven't read much Agatha Christie and I love mystery. I'm just like a fake mystery fan if I haven't read Agatha Christie. And then we've got I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed, which is a TikTok wreck. And it's another, I think, mystery. I don't really know much about it. This is one that I don't, I purposefully avoided the synopsis because I don't want it to be spoiled. And I think it's one that like has a shocking like twist ending, which I love and I'm really excited for. And I also think it'll be fairly fast paced and easy because it's a pretty small book. Ooh, it's like 200 pages. She's scared. Currently 11.45. I think I'm gonna start with this one because this is the one that I'm like most excited about. It is 1am and I'm on page 64. So far it has been scary at times but thought provoking at other times and I am enjoying it. It hasn't felt like an hour. It's gone by really fast which is good. Uh, so I read about a page a minute which means that I should finish this in the next two to three hours. It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky. 2 a.m. This book's really good. It's very weird and mind-bending and confusing and creepy. I don't know if it was the best idea to read it at night alone. I am getting tired. One time in high school, I had this friend who we had a test on the book and he literally read the whole book the night before and stood so that he didn't fall asleep. I might try that. And maybe you should stay instead of turning around So let you keep on going What? It's 3.40 and I finished this That book was so trippy I don't even know what to think It was very scary and there was a twist at the end But I kind of just felt confused I need to sit with it a little bit more. Got some coffee, and now I'm gonna start reading the E. Lockhart, The Disreputable History of Frankie Lando Banks. I'm excited for this one. Hopefully it will be a little bit more lighthearted. I need a break from the scary and the intense. It's 5.30 a.m. I'm on page 107. It's very much giving me Life and Death Brigade vibes from Gilmore Girls. I just keep thinking of Logan and Rory. It's a lot of fun so far and I'm really enjoying it. It's very smart. There's good banter. It's like a YA book, but there are also some thought-provoking moments about psychology and identity and that kind of stuff. So it's a good one so far. This girl's reading a book called Chicken Soup for the Horse Lover's Soul and I was like, is that a real book? It is. I looked it up. It's a real book. Chicken, chicken soup for the horse lover's soul. What the hell? This is where I fell asleep. It's like right after the sun rose, I passed out. And then I woke up around 10 a.m. and started reading Agatha Christie. Way too hot outside. 
outside. So I'm reading this book, right? And I was just thinking, I wonder if this audiobook is on YouTube because sometimes with old books, they're on YouTube for free and it is. So I'm about to listen to the audiobook, but I literally just was like guessing. I'm on page 62. So I was like, hmm, it's probably about an hour or so in. So I like skipped an hour in and I kid you not, I literally landed on the exact sentence that I had just read. That might not be, that I just thought that was cool and kind of weird. I'm finna listen to the audiobook a little bit because my eyes are tired. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just coloring in my Harry Styles coloring book. My friend got this for me for my birthday. I did not buy this for myself. Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color scheme That plot twist though! Oh my gosh. What? I finished it. I don't know why. I was quite confused. I feel like it took me way longer to read it than it probably should have. So I did have to spark note it a little bit. My small pea brain had to take my time. There are just a lot of characters, okay? The way that she like describes who the people are in relation to each other just makes me feel like an idiot. I am in college, but how did I get here? You know what I mean? Big words are hard for me to understand. She says stuff like, Ackroyd showed no disposition to make a second matrimonial adventure. And I'm like, bruh, just say that he didn't remarry. Like, I get it. I understand. But my brain is too small. I mean, I probably would have enjoyed it if I was smarter. I, I caught on, it, I guess. Like, it was good, but it took a little bit more effort than I cared to and like definitely much more effort than I have to give currently seeing that I am running on like no sleep and my brain is already feeling very disoriented like how am I still awake? It's currently 5 30 and I am losing it a little bit. I finished three books at this point. I think I'm gonna go for the romance next. I want to go to sleep so bad. <laughs> The boarding school from the Frankie, the disreputable history of Frankie Lando Banks. Okay, how the hell did I not notice that bug just sitting on my face? That's so embarrassing. And that's the same book that they go to in I just went outside for maybe 15 minutes and the mosquitoes literally bombarded me. I have a bite on my face. That's so rude. I'm now in my sister's bed because I really was needing a change of scenery, but the mosquitoes kicked me out or kicked me back in, I should say. Mallory, if you're watching this, no, you're not. It is seven o'clock at night and I'm really regretting doing this. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. It's a few days later. I fell asleep. I didn't actually read for 24 hours straight, so this title is clickbait. But if you do the math, I read for probably maybe 20 hours. So like a significant amount. These are the four books that I read. And... You know... It was a time. I kind of hated this challenge. It wasn't enjoyable at all. And maybe it's my fault. Like maybe it's because the books that I chose weren't, like I didn't love them that much. This is the first book that I read. I flew through it. It was really good, super quick read. It was scary and suspenseful and I was dying to know what happens. But then at the end, once I found out what was happening, I was kind of like, Oh. I don't know. I'm still confused, honestly. Like, I'm still kind of like, what was that? I don't want to spoil anything, but basically this follows the narrator, who's unnamed, and her boyfriend as they go on a road trip. And as they go on a road trip in the winter to visit the boyfriend's family. And he lives in this, like, creepy farm, and they go, and his parents are super weird, and they leave immediately after. Like, that's the whole story. But it's just, like, the conversations that they have in the car are very thought-provoking and they talk a lot about like psychology and then when they get to the parents house the parents are weird and the, the narrator is kind of like what's going on I'm confused and then you kind of start to like find out all this 
like weird stuff. I don't know, I don't wanna like give too much away. Like, it was pretty good, conflicted feelings, kinda confused still. The next book that I read was The Disreputable History of Frankie Linda Banks, such a mouthful. This was definitely my favorite book. Really, really enjoyed it. It was just fun and lighthearted, which is kind of what I needed. For being a YA book, it was still very smart. It talked about feminism and identity. It's about 15 year old Frankie and she goes to this boarding school. She gets a new boyfriend and basically her boyfriend is involved in this secret society and she knows about it but her boyfriend doesn't know that she knows about it and so she kind of starts to secretly get involved. A little bit of chaos ensues. There are like pranks that are commentary on the institution. It's like fun but thought-provoking. It's very much like girl power. I stand for it and it was just so enjoyable. And then next we've got Agatha Christie. I can't, I don't even know, I, I <laughs> I don't know how to summarize this book. Basically, there's a murder of Roger Ackroyd, but like also his wife had died and she, no, no, no. Wait, was it his wife? No. So this lady killed her husband so that she could be with Roger, but then the lady feels so guilty about killing her husband that she commits suicide and like confesses that she poisoned her husband and she tells Roger this, but then before, so then there's this, the, the doctor, the like narrator guy, <laughs> I'm so good at this. Basically, Roger gets murdered before you find out who's like blackmailing him. That was a horrible synopsis, but like that's the best I can do. I was as confusing as that sounded, like that's probably how confused I was reading this. I was kind of, I was just like there were a lot of characters, it was a little bit dense, and it kind of got a little bit boring and confusing in the middle. The ending, I was like, oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. Queen of Mystery still holds her title. I like and then there were none better. And last and least, we've got Again Again by E. Lockhart, which I wanted to be like a fun, light romance. This wasn't good. This just wasn't what I was wanting. I wanted something like fun and cute. And this was like talking about addiction and she has this bad relationship with her brother. But also it was just like kind of repetitive. So the story follows Adelaide in the summer. Her brother is a recovering addict. It is a romance. She's like broken up with her other boyfriend and she's really sad about it. But then she starts up a new romance. But it's like kind of weird the way that it's written. It'll start to tell the story and then it'll split up. I don't know if you can see that. And it'll like repeat what just happened but then add different possible scenarios and endings and I just didn't really care for that. It was repetitive. I was like, what's the point if that's not what's happening? Are these in her mind? I didn't know what the deal was. I didn't really care for it and I kind of skimmed towards the end. I was just ready for this to be over. Also, this is the last book that I read. I was just like, I'm done. I don't want to be reading this anymore and I probably should have DNF'd it but I just really also didn't want to start a new book at this point. I was like, get me out of here. So those were the books that I read. I guess I'm kind of a failure. Remember at the beginning of this when I said that the staying awake part was going to be easy? It it wasn't. It wasn't easy. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment. I post new videos every Saturday. As of now, we don't know what my schedule is going to be yet when school starts. So turn on the bell to get notified when I post. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!